In Colorado's capital city of Denver, the most distinctive building in the skyline is the 50-story Wells Fargo Center. Built in 1983, it was nicknamed the Cash Register Building after the unique curved shape of its glass-covered roof. The distinctive design of the structure actually posed a surprising problem. In the snowy climate of the Mile High City, engineers had to install heating coils in the roof to prevent snow from piling up and then sliding down the side of the building. With the coils no longer functioning, the building now wears a crown of icy snow that drips moisture into the floors below. Every now and then, the center of Denver is witness to an urban avalanche. It's now 200 years after people. Stripped of its defenses, Denver's cash register building has repeatedly unleashed great avalanches onto the streets below. The next avalanche will not be of snow, but steel. In the time of humans, engineers at Colorado State University studied the many different ways skyscrapers can collapse. In this model, the heavy steel plates represent the floors of the building. The comparatively weak, thin wooden dowels represent the weakened state of a corroded frame. If an upper story collapses, it can cause a violent cascade. When the top floor of the building releases from the columns, its total weight is moving due to gravity. But by the time it hits the floor just directly below it, it has a force twice its own weight. And that effect would just increase and increase as the floors go down. The building, as tall as the Wells Fargo building in downtown Denver, could have this cascading effect, perhaps 200 years in time.